Mary conception phase is a big part of conceiving. As you transform from a woman to a mother, you should make your body ready for a healthy and joyful pregnancy. When planning for a baby, it is important to have regular intercourse at an interval of two to three days through the month rather than trying to focus on a specific period. If you fail to conceive for over a year, you should go and see a fertility specialist. To stay healthy in the preconception phase, exercise on a regular basis is mandatory. Maintain a healthy diet. Cut down the alcohol intake and stop smoking. Increase the water intake. Regularize the intake of folic acid to prevent neural tube defects in the baby. It is also ideal to have a body mass index of 25 or less. Pregnancy is divided into three trimesters. The first trimester lasts from week 1 to 12. The first phase of your pregnancy is very crucial and you should take these important tests in the early pregnancy. Complete blood count, blood group and Rh typing, test for blood sugar and thyroid, test for viral infections such as HIV, hepatitis B, rubella and syphilis. The first trimester antenatal screening also comprises of fetal ultrasound scans. In the 12th week of pregnancy, the NTNB scan helps assess the neck fold thickness of the baby and the length of the nasal bone. In combination with a double marker blood test, this scan helps in assessing the risk of your baby having an aneuploidy or a chromosomal abnormality. The second trimester spans from the 13th week of pregnancy until the 28th week. It is indeed wonderful to see the little fetus developing all the major organs like heart, brain, skull, spine and kidneys. The anomaly scan during the 19th to the 20th week of pregnancy helps check for any abnormality in these organ systems. The mother is also required to take two doses of tetanus toxin to prevent infection in herself as well as her unborn baby. The mother will be advised to go for antenatal check on four weekly basis. During this phase and during the 28th week, the mother will be advised to go through a biophysical scan for the baby, which assess the baby's health through the baby's heart rate, muscle tone movement, breathing as well as the amount of amniotic fluid around your baby. We also recommend the use of oral glucose tolerance test which is done to assess a mother's risk of gestational diabetes. Blood pressure recording is also mandatory in addition to urine testing to pick up signs for pregnancy-induced hypertension. As you reach the third and the final trimester, there is a rapid growth spurt in the baby. Regular antenatal checks at two weekly intervals followed by weekly checks are mandatory. You may be advised to undergo Doppler ultrasound scans for the baby which help measure the blood flow to the different parts of the baby's body and ascertain that the baby is healthy and thriving. One may also need to be subjected to non-stress test which is the heart rate recording for the baby in utero. Should there be a risk of the baby being born early, that is premature labour, the mother is advised to take two doses of steroid injections to ensure that the baby's lungs are well prepared for an early delivery. And also, you will be introduced to the neonatal team who will handle the premature baby. In the final few weeks, feel free to discuss the mode of delivery and the role of obstetrics analgesia with your obstetric team. Discuss the care plan for your newborn baby with the neonatal pediatric team. We wish you a healthy pregnancy and a safe delivery and best wishes for becoming mom.